Okay, so I created a little cockpit here with my uh, C10 in my workshop room. Um, it's just basic, a chair and a 48 inch C10 OLED and uh, it gets the job done, you know. There it is right there. Uh, I'm loading a flight simulator right now. Uh, it gets the job done, so I'm going to show you how it looks. We'll talk about it as we go through this video. I mean, it's nothing to brag about, but, it, you know, it gets the job done. I can adjust the, uh, the height to make it more realistic. You know, like right here, like right up here. Um, we'll keep it right here in the center. And uh, it's a fairly enjoyable experience. The one thing I did, I toned down the uh, the OLED light. I moved the OLED light to 50, to 50 percent, so that way it's not blasting into my eyes so close. I moved my sharpness to zero. I also used the warm two color, warm two color to keep it more enjoyable, so close up, like this. And uh, as you're gonna see it really gets the job done guys hold on let me adjust the uh hold on the this right here really quick here we go sorry about that uh, this is awesome, dude, guys. It really makes you feel as if you are flying um, an airplane. Uh, it's basic, basic setup. Uh, you know, nothing too fancy, but uh, it gets the job done. I have my Series X behind it. Right behind it, there's a Series X. Uh, I'm using HDMI 2.1 Belkin cable. It's Dolby Vision. And uh, it's very enjoyable, man. Let's go outside. Even outside, it's uh, pretty cool. Gives you a very nice uh, field of view. The, the whole point here, it gives you that field of view. And it's really awesome, man. But you're supposed to be in a cockpit. The whole idea of this it's to be inside a cockpit so you feel like you're really inside the airplane and it's really cool Now you don't have to use this jet fighter, you can use something smaller, you can use a Cessna. Uh, but it really feels like you're inside a, a airplane. It really has that feeling. Pretty cool actually. Let's try another airplane, shall we? All right, let's go. Las Vegas approach Cessna Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra is type Cessna C-25C, one zero miles northeast of Kilo Bravo Victor Uniform, 5,100 feet. Request clear. This one of the cool things, you can adjust the height and zoom in and... Uh, Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra, Las Vegas approach. Clock, pretty cool, man. 
It's very minimal, you know, but it, it gets the job done. Uh, you know what I mean? That's the whole point here. And it really makes you feel like you're inside a airplane. I guess that's the whole point here. Let's move to the right side over here. Trying to find like what's the best uh, viewing angle here. I guess this right here is the best I can get. Like right here. It just gives you a much better vision, you know. Uh, it gives you a better field of view. That's what I'm trying to say here. You get much better field of view. And it really makes you feel like you're flying. Now, the most important thing here for me is to go to the control options and to, uh, to adjust my HOTAS. HOTAS 1. Uh, to go to sensitivity and to adjust the sensitivity you see this is going to be the most important thing for me right now is this sensitivity to push it down as low as possible right there uh, same thing here push it down as low as possible same thing here same thing here and even here and then we're gonna save it click done and apply and save and go back and you'll see a much better difference right you see now it's super smooth now it feels like I'm really controlling this aircraft You guys need to try this. It really makes you feel. I know the video is not doing it justice, but 48 inch up close, it really makes you feel like you're in some kind of arcade, arcade flight simulator, like your own home arcade uh, simulator. And this is like the, the most entry level you can get. Now, the television itself, it's expensive, but it doesn't have to be C10. It could be uh, some other television, you know with a 48 inch or 47 inch or 50 inch you know but it's really gonna make you feel like you are inside uh, the airplane and it's pretty cool it really is guys maybe I should uh, move it to the center Let me move it to the center, like right here, to the center. Actually, you can move the camera up. There is a option for you to use the camera and move the camera up, uh, like this. See, you do, you do have that option, which I forgot to, to mention that. See, now it really feels like I am uh, inside this airplane. 
and when I got my controls calibrated, it all feels smooth, man. It really feels like a smooth ride. Uh, again, you don't have to use an OLED. If you have a 48 inch OLED, that's awesome. It could be, uh, you know, TCL 50 inch or TCL 48 inch or whatever, 47 inch. But I wouldn't go to 55 inch. I think 55 and 60, that's too big, man. I think 47 to 50, uh, 48 to 50, 50 inch will honestly get the job done because you're really sitting close. So 50 inch will get the job done and uh, man, you're gonna have fun. You can use your Series S, Series X, get your T-Flight Hotis controller. You can use the rudders, the rudders down below you when you're on the ground. Uh, you can start like a little cheap entry level uh, flight cockpit simulator, man. Uh, and you're really gonna enjoy this. You're gonna have a lot of fun, for sure. So I hope this video kind of helps you out, gives you some ideas, some creative ideas, uh, you want to make sure that you turn your uh, your brightness, your peak brightness down and use the warm to color because you don't want to damage your eyes because you're sitting so close to your television. So you want to move that OLED light way down. Uh, but it's really awesome. It's really awesome, man. Uh, there you have it. Give it a try, you know. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.